Hey, Grandma. Long time no see. How's your back? Still aching like hell? <laughs> wow, you really know how to make a good impression, don't you? What do you want from me, Annika? And by the way, you might want to watch your mouth. You're not doing yourself any favors by being so rude and disrespectful. Oh, come on, Sydney. You know what they say about old people, right? They always ramble on and on about stuff nobody gives a damn about. I'd rather be an old person who has some wisdom and experience than a young brat who has no clue about anything, wouldn't you? So spit it out. What do you want from me? Well, I was wondering what you're going to get me for my wedding gift. You know, something nice and expensive that I can show off to everyone. Wait, what? Yeah, you heard me. I don't want you to get me something lame or cheap that someone else already got me. Since you're so old and clueless, you might as well give me cash. That way I can buy whatever I want. How about you stop calling me old and clueless when you're begging me for a gift, huh? You know, you're really getting on my nerves, Annika. You're so ungrateful and selfish. Well, can you blame me? You have no taste or style. You have no taste or style. So I don't trust you getting me anything good. Just give me the money, okay? I didn't even know you were getting married. I guess I didn't really care either. Congrats, I suppose. What? We talked about it today, remember? God, Sydney, are you losing your memory already? That's so sad. Wait, what's that? Are you having trouble hearing me too? I know you're way past your prime. Ugh, I hate the thought of getting old. It's so gross. I can't believe you're saying all this to me at 35. My memory and hearing are fine. I just don't pay attention to your boring story. About your wedding. Yeah, whatever. You should be thanking me for saving some brain space by ignoring your nonsense. Oh, please. You're totally lying. You're just jealous of me, aren't you? You're jealous that I'm getting married so young and beautiful. You wish you were me, don't you? Wait, what? Jealous? Of what? Of course you're jealous. How can you not be? You're like a decade older than me. You know that? You're practically ancient to me. And you're still single and lonely. I actually feel sorry for you, Sydney. But that doesn't mean you can be bitter and hateful towards your adorable coworker who's so young and sweet. If you act like that, I'm gonna get mad. I have no idea what you're talking about and it's honestly freaking me out. Anyway, whatever. Good luck with your marriage, I guess. I'll figure out something for your gift. Don't worry about it. By the way, when is your wedding? I don't recall that. Wait, hold on. You're not seriously thinking of coming to my wedding, are you? You're 35, for God's sake, you don't belong there. Okay, I get it. You don't want anyone over 35 at your wedding, right? So everyone there is going to be under 35, right? That means all your relatives are also under 35, right? No, that's not what I mean. I just don't want a bitter old spinster who's 35 and single coming to my wedding. Because she's a total jinx for everyone around her. I don't see how that's bad luck. Am I some kind of curse or something? A curse? How delusional do you have to be to think that you're important? That's not what I meant at all, but okay, whatever, pea brain. This must be what they call a generational gap because you're not making any sense to me. And I'm sure you don't get anything I'm saying either. Listen, it's simple. I don't want you at my wedding, okay? You're not invited. You're just gonna show up and try and find a husband, right? I know you're desperate for a 35 and single, but I'm telling you right now that I don't need some old hag to ruin my special day. You're gonna make me and my friends cringe if you start hitting on them, so just stay away. I had no intention of doing any of that, just for the record. But fine, whatever. I didn't even want to go to your lame wedding. So this works out for me because I don't have to give in a fake excuse. I was just curious when you were getting married, but I guess there was a mistake too. As soon as I get married, I'm quitting my job. Just so you know, I already told my bosses that I'm leaving as soon as I tie the knot. I see, congratulations. My fiance is actually pretty rich. I mean, he's kind of ugly, you know, like, but money is money. He's kind of dull too, to be honest with you, but he's a top salesman at a huge company on Wall Street. I actually picked him out of several guys I was dating because I knew that he had the best prospects and the biggest wallet. It's great that I got to marry him while I still had options and not being old and out of luck, you know? Yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure that you're lying through your teeth when you say that, but whatever. Anyway, like I said, congrats. Yeah, thanks a lot, old lady. <laughs> but I'm just wondering, 
You said that he's got a face like a potato and he's pretty boring or something. Why would you marry him then? Wouldn't you want to marry someone who's attractive or at least fun to be with? I've actually been seeing multiple people at the same time, just like I said before. You know, I had to weigh my options. Wait, what? And he was the one who checked all the boxes, you know? And by boxes, I mean he had the most cash and the most potential. I mean, there's a few things that were kind of sketchy and I'm not sure I like them, but overall, he was the one who aced the test, you know? <laughs> Lucky me. That's how you were judging everything. This was all just a game to you, huh? I mean, it's none of my business, so I can't really say anything about it. But I wonder what your fiancé would say if he knew that you were playing around and seeing other people while you were here with him. He's a bit older than me, actually. Kind of like you, you know? I mean, he's still younger than you. The old witch of the office. Oh my god. But that's not saying much, considering you're ancient. He must be so thrilled to marry this hot and young woman who's ready to do anything for him. He'll be so happy and satisfied with me, so it's like a win-win, you know what I mean? We're all happy here. I see. Oh well, whatever. As long as you two are happy about the whole thing, then whatever. Me, personally? I wouldn't like it if my fiancé was talking about me and our marriage like some kind of trade deal, but that's just me. Literally no one would ever want to marry you, you dumbass. You're unwanted. A leftover on the shelf. No one would want to marry a 35-year-old hag who talks way too much and clearly has too much baggage. You literally overcomplicate everything. No one wants you. Yeah, you go ahead and keep talking. And I don't really care what you have to say. Anyway, congratulations on your marriage. Thanks, and seriously, please, please, please don't come to my wedding, okay? Promise me. Literally no one in the world wants to see some old bitch who's sad and depressed who can't find love at all. Understood. I will not be attending your shitty wedding. I think you're probably going to be jealous of me for a while. But if you want to be upset with someone, you should definitely be upset with yourself. The fact that you're old and saggy and missed your chance to get married to someone. Yeah, literally no one would ever be mad or upset at anyone else for them getting married. Like I said, none of this has anything to do with me. I was just giving you my two cents is all. Goodbye. Have a good one. I specifically asked you not to come to the wedding. Why the hell are you even at my wedding? You even specifically told me that you were completely uninterested and that you had nothing to do with me. You promised me you wouldn't come. I knew you wanted to be around me. Stop acting like you didn't care about me. Are you some kind of stupid? Seriously, have you been inhaling paint fumes or something? No, I'm pretty sure that you're the one that's being stupid right now. Huh? What? You don't even know why I came to the wedding, do you? And before asking me what I'm doing here, you ran up behind me and literally kicked me in your heel. Are you ashamed at all? Or is your brain incapable of feeling shame? You're the only one who should be ashamed. How dare you come to my wedding after I specifically told you to stay away? Are you not embarrassed that you came all this way to dig for men? You realize that everyone sees through your lies, right? Why the hell did this old hag bitch show up to my wedding? I don't want anyone thinking that we're friends at all because we're not. They would think less of me for being around you at all. Get the hell out. You know, you're acting awfully tough trying to chase me out of your wedding. Are you really sure that you should be doing that right now? I would think twice if I were you. What the hell? What are you even talking about right now? You came all this way to your coworker's wedding to find a man that badly. Oh my God, no one is ever going to fall for you, Sydney. It's just impossible. Actually, there's a couple of reasons it's impossible. And one of them is that you're way too old. How about you just give up and accept your single life all alone? Okay, I understand. Oh, so you finally accepted, huh? Good. <laughs> I'd given up on any hope that having a conversation with you will lead to some kind of understanding of each other. This was all just a waste of time from the get-go. I never should have tried. Some old bitches showing up uninvited to my wedding? Of course I'm going to chase you the hell out. If you finally understand the kind of position you're in after getting kicked in your stupid herniated back, you need to get the hell out. All right, well, you go ahead and tell my little brother the groom. I said hey. Huh? <laughs> little brother? What are you talking about? I'm actually going to go home peacefully and quietly, okay? 
don't worry, you go ahead and tell my brother. I said, hey, and then I'm only gonna go home because of his fiance. Wait, hold on, Sydney. What are you talking about, little brother? What do you mean? What do I mean? Your fiance, the groom, Robert, is literally my younger brother. Talk about living in a small world, huh? What the hell are you talking about, Sydney? Stop lying. You're not making any sense, and I'm tired of entertaining your stupid conversation already. I mean, it's a fact. So what do you want me to do about it? Not like you could just wish it away. I most definitely was not invited to this wedding by you. You're absolutely correct. You told me to stay the hell away, and that was my intention. But, you know, my younger brother really likes me. And he invited me to his wedding as his family member. So, unfortunately, though, his fiance happened to be the same empty-headed girl that uninvited me from the wedding. So... You're lying. Tell me that you're lying, Sydney, please. This isn't just some kind of BS that this old hag is spewing to me right now. I don't think I've ever done anything to specifically target you and make you feel bad. But you've been saying that on your own, right? I don't think you'd be able to come up with a single example of what I actually did. Anything to single you out. Who is the one that's literally name-calling me right now? It wasn't me. You've never even called me by my name. It's always old something. Read all of our messages and you get someone to tell me who's singling out who in this conversation. You freaking grenade! Wait, hold on. Are you seriously calling me a grenade right now? <laughs> There's no way, right? Well, then how else would I be talking to you right now? You literally kicked me out without saying a single word after I showed up at the wedding. Not a single word. What kind of nerves do you have coming at me like that? I mean, seriously, I just don't understand. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Sydney. You're way too late now. And you've gone way too far for me to be comfortable. I'm going to go home now. I've already left the wedding venue just like you asked me to. I will not be attending the wedding. It might be a huge problem now that I'm not going to be at the wedding, considering I'm the older sister of the groom after all. But to be fair, you brought this on yourself. So, you know, you win some, you lose some, I guess. Anyway, good luck. Please answer the phone, Sydney. I'm on my knees begging you, please pick up. What do you want from me now? What can I do to make you talk to me? I don't have anything I want to talk to you about anymore. I've already wasted enough time and energy trying to talk to you. You never listen to me anyway. I have so many things I want to talk to you about, Sydney. You can't just disappear on us like that. You're really making my life miserable right now. I had no idea that this is what would happen. Robert is so furious because he found out what was going on. He says he won't talk to me until I fix things. Please come back right away. I need you to be at this wedding. I can't do this without you. I don't care how many times you call me and I'm just going to ignore your call. I will never answer any of your calls. I don't have anything I want to talk to you about, so don't bother me. How could you say such a cruel thing to me, Sydney? Come on, don't be like that. We're going to be family soon. You know what I mean? We can't treat each other like this. You're really ruining our future relationship from now on. Don't be so cold, sis. I honestly have no intention of ever having to interact with you as a family member, even after we become family. Just so you know. Wait, what are you talking about, Sydney? I don't understand. I'm saying that I'm going to tell my younger brother everything that you told me before you got married. I've made up my mind after you decided to kick me in the back without saying a word. What? What do you mean? You're going to tell him everything? I literally haven't told you anything at all. Nothing that's damaging anyway. Well, how about the fact that you were dating several people at once and not actually making a decision until you felt like it was convenient? I think that Robert has a right to know about everything that you've been shady about this whole time. Wait, don't be so impulsive like that, Sydney. You can't just stop me like that. You've got to face the consequences of what you've done in the past. Don't worry about it. I'm already taking the initiative of letting my younger brother know about everything. I sent the screenshots from our text messages earlier. I think you're a little too late there. And are you being serious right now, Sydney? Please, tell me you're kidding. I'm sure he's figured out now that you're just going after the money or status now. 
It's not because you actually love my younger brother or anything like that. You're just exploiting him. I think he's already figured out that he's basically just being compared against other men too. But you couldn't really decide until you thought that he had a lot more money. You realize what you're doing to me, right, Sydney? You're kind of destroying everything that I've worked really hard for. If you keep this thing up, Robert's gonna lose his mind and get really angry and then I'm gonna have to deal with it. Actually, it looks like he's already losing it on me, so thanks for that, Sydney. I need you to do something for me or this whole thing is gonna fall apart and I can't have that happen. Yeah, if this keeps up, the whole wedding might just be canceled, huh? Maybe even your engagement. I think there's a saying for that. It suits me perfectly. What was it? Oh yeah, rest in peace. What? Are you seriously gonna leave me hanging like that? This just can't end like this. You have to help me. The only reason I'm being trapped and hunted down in this situation is because of one person, Sydney. And that person is you, Sydney. It's all your fault that I'm in this mess. Do you have any intention of helping me out at all? Yeah, I literally have absolutely no intention of helping you out at all, especially considering I literally haven't done anything wrong at all. If anything, you're the one that kicked me in the back and just chased me out of my own younger brother's wedding. Yeah, unfortunately, Robert's friends actually witnessed this whole thing go down. They all told Robert what happened. They couldn't keep their mouths shut. Can you do me a favor and just tell him it's not what it seems? That there's more to it than just me kicking you? It's a huge misunderstanding. And honestly, it kind of hurts me. Dude, you know what hurt you? Kicking me in the back. What exactly is the misunderstanding part anyway? It's the fact that you tried to chase me out of your wedding by kicking me in the back. Or am I remembering this whole thing wrong? What more or less was there that happened? That's literally factual information that they're saying. I mean, that may be the case. And everything you said might be true, but I don't know. The only thing I was trying to do was chase some old hag who was already way past her prime out of my lovely, amazing wedding. Yeah, just so you know, our boss was also watching the whole thing unfold in front of his eyes too. He's going to be going home with me too. He said that he doesn't want to take part in your pathetic celebration. Wait, why? Why would he want to go home too? Well, it looks like you weren't listening to anything that anyone else had to say at all. But I'm going to be getting married to him this summer. Wait, what? Married? What the hell? I didn't hear anything about that. I would remember some old lady getting married miraculously. Yeah, I kind of figured that you weren't listening, but that's just the way it's going to be. So yeah, you should be happy that you already submitted the paperwork for your resignation. Think about if you hadn't realized this whole debacle was more than enough for our boss to fire you, right? At the very least, if not sue you. The department manager is really young and somehow already the manager of the department. He's super early and actually going places. And on top of it all, he looks really amazing. Why would a man like him be with such a slob like you? Sorry to break it to you, dear, but you're just another cheap woman and I'm not. I'm actually kind of impressed by how aggressively you can talk trash about me after all that's come to light. You really do have some kind of belief in yourself. I'll give you that. This pretty much guarantees the fact that you're going to be out of a job real soon. You might not even be able to get married. And you know what else that means? You're just going to be a jobless woman. You're really taking the L on this whole thing, aren't you, buddy? You lost your marriage partner and you've lost your job all in one go. <laughs> I'm going to get married. I haven't lost him yet. What are you talking about, Sydney? Yeah, that's if Robert is still interested in you. After he found out about everything behind the scenes and seeing you dropkick his sister? It's all your fault, Sydney. You sent some random screenshots when you really didn't need to do that. The only reason he's getting mad at me right now is because I'm under the microscope and it's because of you, Sydney. The wedding should have started already. It hasn't even begun. This is all your fault and I want you to pay for it. Why the hell isn't anything starting? What the hell am I supposed to do about this? I don't know, Annika. What do you think people should do about this, huh? Maybe you should try apologizing to me and to Robert. But I doubt you can do any of that, can you? I'm so pretty and cute though. Why is this happening to me? People who are cute and young like me don't deserve this kind of treatment. You realize that being young and cute has an expiration date, right? You got maybe a year, two years, tops. <laughs> what? 
in that short duration, you've got to find someone who will deal with your crazy and deranged ass and who also apparently happens to be pretty rich and willing to spend all of that money on you. I mean, just to be honest with you, with a personality like that, I'm not sure you're ever going to find true happiness though. Good luck. Anyway, that's it for me. See ya. Annika had been scolded by Sydney and she was initially completely stunned by the whole fiasco. That wasn't the end of her nightmare, however. In addition to Sydney telling her off, Robert was also extremely enraged by all the new revelations that were brought to his attention. He was also fed up with dealing with Annika and her schemes. So he just called off the wedding on the spot and paid for the cancellation fees. The whole wedding was canceled in the middle of the ceremony and the engagement was broken off as well. She lost her job and swiftly became jobless and single in the blink of an eye. She's trying her best to try and find the next target for her to manipulate, but she's got no money, so she's having trouble even going on dates. And so she's just getting older and older day by day and really has no idea where this is going to lead her in the near future. Sydney, on the other hand, married the department manager who is very rich and intelligent. Her marriage was celebrated by many people, and it was the exact opposite of what you witnessed with Annika in her disastrous wedding.